Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Book, the man with the weapons. You like that one? Uh, that one was kind of ass. Why does it rain 24-7? What is this? I'm playing a heavy rain. I, I just use this rain sigil too. No, I'll hold it in my inventory. Maybe that helps. Alright, but yeah, we are back here in Book. We're gonna do our best. Look, the rain isn't going away. Something's up with this. I don't like that. But yeah, we're back. We're gonna fight some bosses. You know how it is. Where is... Oh, desert to the right. Let's go to the desert. As you can see, it's still there. So that means something's up. Something is up. I don't think it's Calamity's fault. Well, it's kind of Calamity's fault because it rains 24-7 once you enter Revengeance. Once you enter uh, Post Moon Lord. Finally, there you go. It's gone. So we're going to be fighting Providence, I believe. And some other bosses. I did do a stream where I got a couple of items. Including these boots, which are really good boots. Better than Calamities is what I've been told. Uh, they're really fast. And I also made this. Idol of Darkness. That's a, that's a lot of damage. That's a whole lot of damage. But yeah, we're going to go ahead. Take on Providence. Maybe Abaddon. Some other stuff. Uh, let's probably, let's try and make this Nightmare Catcher. If we can, we can. Alright, sweet. Boom. So there's the two bosses we know we're taking on for sure. And then we'll figure out a third one. Maybe even a fourth one. Maybe if I'm feeling a fourth one. So this is in the hollowed, right? It is. I think that's why I specifically made this arena was because it was in the hollowed. That's really good. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead. Let's turn this on. Boom. And we should be ready just like that. Uh, so this is going to be my first time fighting Providence in uh, Revengeance, is what I should say. What is this material for? It says material. What are you material for? What? I don't. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's, let's do it. Nighttime? Daytime? We have to be on the floor? Is this considered the hollow being on the floor? We got a lot of area to dodge here. Am I missing health? No, I'm not missing health. I'm sorry, I'm using the same fucking gun that I always use. I'm very sorry, it's my strongest weapon. It only makes sense that I use it. Or it's one of my strongest weapons. Possibly my strongest weapon. Sorry if we're not able to see Providence. Like, are we zoomed out all the way? We definitely are zoomed out all the way. Providence is just so big. That's the thing with these bigger bosses. You can't fucking see them half the time doing really good i might be able to get our uh, adrenaline an adrenaline boost right here let's see Ooh, i have it we're gonna activate it and okay we're gonna use it apparently on the smaller enemies perfectly fine they killed my cactus person i don't know what the difference is between uh providence and revengeance and just like extra mode and shit i'll look up the difference after this yeah, for now, I have no idea. Maybe more health, more damage. That laser. And Providence has always done that. I feel like that's something Providence has always done. Alright, for this part, we're gonna, we're gonna use it. Just because it's way faster to kill these enemies with this. And, uh, we still love. We don't want to die. We still have the nurse. Let that be known. We still do have the nurse. Are they all dead yet? I don't know. Oh, they should be all dead now. No, there's still one more. It's always this last one. This last one is tanky as hell. Did that hit me? Jeez. <laughs> I didn't even know it was coming. There we go. Providence is dead. Fossilized tree bark is bursting through the jungle's mud. All right, so we can get Eula Bloom now, which is dope. That is the next pickaxe upgrade slash armor upgrade slash weapon upgrade, whatever. Well, Providence has been slaughtered. It wasn't too bad. Uh, but Ranger is just really strong. Let that be known. That's probably why it seemed pretty easy. We're playing on Revenge. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a pro Terraria player. Because I am a pro Terraria player. I uh, got signed to Cloud9 to play Terraria. <laughs> I got signed to Cloud9 to play Terraria uh, as a pro. You know? What do Terraria pros do? They speedrun. But I haven't done a speed run. So we got this stuff, this stuff. Of course, Rune of Cause, we're gonna use that. That thing's cool. Helmet, I don't give a shit about. Alright, so 
We got some goodies from that though. We got some goodies. We'll see what I'm gonna use. I'm probably gonna use this. Definitely probably gonna use this. this seems awesome. And uh, we'll get rid of the disseminator. As much as I like the disseminator, I haven't really been using it. Same thing with this. There's a lot of weapons. I also got this from the live stream. This thing's pretty good. <laughs> like really good. All right, but yeah, let's see what we can do with this stuff. Boom. The Eldberry is about all we want to do. So we need Yulu Bloom. Yeah, the Eldberry is going to be the number one. And probably want to make these super potions, super healing potions. What are they called? Supreme healing potions. And this stuff. This is for the Yulu Bloom armor set. I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know. You guys let me know if it's worth making. There's a couple of items and armor sets that I have in mind to make. But uh, for now, we just won't worry about it. So let's go ahead, hold on to that. Everything else can go away. The rune of cost, we'll just toss in there. Let's fight the boy Abaddon. The girl Abaddon. The thing Abaddon. Because I have no idea of Abaddon's gender. But let's do it. Nighttime has cometh. I'll use a different weapon. I'll use this. Okay, maybe I won't. This doesn't home. I'm really all about the homing weapons late game. Wait, does this home? It might home. Yeah, it does home. Okay, so it doesn't feel that strong though. It only said 190 damage, which is not a lot. For being 100 honest, maybe I'll use this thing. This thing is pretty god tier. A lot of enemies, so we're gonna switch to this. This is usually my uh, enemy killer, big group of enemies killer. There's a lot of enemies really quickly. Oh my god, there's a lot of damage. I'm trying to flamethrower out. I'm gonna fuck around with this boss because this boss does not hit that hard. I mean, given I have 200 defense, so it should be very rare that I get hit that hard by any boss. Unless they do an absurd amount of damage. There's some bosses do. Like, Providence did hit me for a good chunk, but not a lot of bosses do. Some bosses do do it. But, compared to. Oh god, trapped in this box. A good majority of bosses do not do it. If we're gonna lose that much health, it's gonna be from either Elements Awoken bosses or Calamity bosses. He killed literally every single NPC. Game freezes for a second. I don't know if you can hear me. This is a feature. Because we're spawning in a whole new biome right now. Boom. Back. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard me when it froze. I have no idea. Uh, Abaddon dead just like that. 90% of my NPCs dead just like that. <laughs> All good. No, most of them I don't really care about. No offense to them. Forge Fury? What a great weapon. Shout out to that boy Fury Forge. How many times did I say that? Ooh, we got his helmet. This thing is really good. What the fuck? When they turned their back on Terraria, he turned their back on them. That's a cool ass helmet. I'm gonna hold on to that. <laughs> I kind of want to wear it. Put a little red dye on that. Ooh, that could look nice. Alright, so Forge Fury, we're gonna sell. Obviously, we're not a melee character. We can't use it. But we do have some Souls of Midnight, which allow us to fight, what, Aragur next? Yes, sir. So, ooh, what about the armor set? Is the armor set good? I don't know. You guys got to tell me. You guys got to tell me what's a good armor set. Probably you guys are going to just tell me Calamity, but if there's anything else I can make that isn't from Calamity, that would be nice. Because the Calamity rules the late game. And I would love to get some... You know, some fresh stuff in my inventory. But sometimes you just have to make Calamity weapons. Because they're so damn good. But I've been using this. This ain't a Calamity weapon. This is a good weapon, though. So, I think the next boss we're going to fight is... What the hell did I just do? We're going to fight... Can't fight Cygnus, Stormweaver, and Ceaseless Void. We're going to do them all in one episode. And probably Dog in the same episode. I don't want to fight Erigor. I really don't like Erigor's boss fight. So I have no idea who we should fight. Oh, we should fight Ragnarok, honestly. What about Poltergeist? Oh, wait, no, we can't fight him for a while. No, we can't fight him, right? I don't know. Uh, should we do just, just do Gilgamesh? I think we should just do Gilgamesh. I might just make the Genji armor, actually. We might just do that. That might just be the way, honestly. All right, let's do it, though. Let's take on Gilgamesh. Let's hope we can do it. Gilgamesh is a pretty tough boss. Um... So I have no idea how we're going to go up against this boss or how we're going to even match up if do any damage at all to this boss. I will try my best. 
No, it's only right that I use this gun. It's only right that I use this gun. It's Luke's bullet health from the juice mod, and we're fighting a juice mod boss. I feel like it only makes sense that I use this at this point. This boss is pretty tough. Once you get to a certain point, I think once you kill either Enkidu or Gilgamesh, it buffs up. I'm pretty sure it's going to be killed Gilgamesh and buffs up. Enkidu is not that bad. Oh my god. When my arm dealers were slain and then respawned right away. Wait, we have the Shredder. <laughs> so th using the Shredder drops me down to 40 frames. This really doesn't feel like 40 frames. Okay, 30. I went to like 35. I made this during live stream. A lot of people wanted me to make this. And, uh, yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> Did you say the right click is better? Ah, that fucking hurt. Alright, kill him. Just kill him. Kill him. I don't want to deal with it anymore. There you go. Gilgamesh has been slaughtered. Destroyed. Decimated. Completely abolished. I don't think that's the right word to use there. But yeah, boom. Gilgamesh dead. Gilgamesh is a tough fight. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, we're playing as a ranged character. And like I said before, ranged character is extremely strong. Melee character is extremely strong. You know how it is. But we got the Genji stuff, which we should be able to make the whole Genji stuff. Stuff? Genji set. So I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we're changing our armor to. Possibly. I know I wanted to wear this. It's really cool looking. But um, for now, let's just put on the Genji stuff. But still leave a comment anyways about what armor I should make. There's a lot of armor sets to check out. But let's check check this one out. It's not Fenji, it's Genji. Come on. Range is red, if I were to guess. Oh, I was right. Look at that. The range got one of the cooler helmets. I mean, these helmets are kind of these three helmets are kind of similar. But let's do it. Boom. So our health is at 695 right now. This should go to a thousand, right? Yeah. Thousand. Defense at 268. So we're getting a little bit more defense. I don't think... Let's see how much our damage. 251? 259. Nice. We went up a whole 8. And uh, let's see here. So 40 defense, 40 defense, 20 defense. 35% increased range crit chance. Max life by 350. You guys can read it. It's really good. <laughs> and then set bonus is... Uh, press the armor ability key to sacrifice all your defense for increased ranged ability. Armor ability key. Sacrifice all your defense for increased range ability. I don't think I have an armor key. Is a problem. But let me set one. Did I miss it? Was the juice mod? There it is. Armor ability. What about H? Is H on anything? So how much defense do we lose? All of it. But we're, we can increase 100% damage. Okay, turn that off. <laughs> I don't know if that's good, but look at Boot looking nice, man. Looking nice. This may be his like final outfit right here. You know, a lot of the orcs have their own outfit that they wear as their final set. Ooh, looks even cooler in this. But yeah, that's going to end off this episode. We did our three. My quota for each episode is at least three bosses to move at a steady pace. I will see y'all in the next episode. We'll probably be taking on either these three and Dog or Eriger. Uh, Ragnarok Lunarians. I don't know. We'll see. I will see y'all in the next episode. Bye bye. Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? So, I do have a Twitch where I live stream a bunch of content. I do a lot of viewer games. I stream a lot of Terraria. And obviously, the stream series, they start on Twitch and then they eventually end up YouTube. So, make sure to check that out. Link will be in the description. It will also be right here on the screen. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and a Discord. Check the description. Those are usually at the bottom of the description. Twitter and Discord is where I notify people that I'm streaming. And I also give, you know, updates or stuff like when mod reviews are going to come out. Or, you know, why there's no video today or something like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Pee pee out.